What's going on gamers and welcome to a quick tutorial video. I'm going to cut right to the chase in this one and make this super short and simple. Now this is going to show you how to install the SPV 3.2 mod for Halo on PC. Now most of you probably know exactly what this is unless you're like me and apparently you've been sleeping under a rock for the last few years. The SPV mod is a complete overhaul of the original Halo Combat Evolved. We're talking enhanced graphics, new enemies, new vehicles, new weapons, extended levels, extra content. The list just goes on and on. And I just found out about this today. And I was finding conflicting things online saying you need this patch, you need this patch, you have to download this first, then this, and it was really confusing. So I decided I'm gonna just cut all of the extra nonsense out and just give you guys links step by step. Look at my pinned comment on this video and I'll show you step one, click this, step two, click that. But I'm gonna go over it in this video. So let's just go ahead and dive right into it. Starting out, you need nothing other than of course a computer to play it on. But software wise, you need nothing. So what you're gonna do is head to step number one and it's gonna give you a link to this website right here. Now, a lot of people are like positive gamer, like how do I know this is safe to download? Listen, I have downloaded it myself and I've been playing it all day. So you can either trust it or not trust it. That's up to you, that's your call. The biggest thing is just don't click stupid little banner ads and things like that around it. What you wanna do is just click this big red download now button right here. So we're gonna go ahead and click it. Again, don't click any ads. Don't do anything on here. It will start this download automatically for you. If you notice down here in the corner, boom. There it is. Now, this might take a minute or two, depending on your uh, internet connection. This is a 3.6 gig file. That's a normal size for it. So I'm going to wait for that to finish downloading, and I'll show you step number two. All right, so you've made it to the other side. You're starting to get pumped and excited because your 3.5 gig download just finished up. Now, if you're using Chrome, it'll put it down in the bottom left-hand corner right here. You can click it from there, or I went ahead and dropped mine on the desktop, it will say SPV 3.2.0. So you're just gonna wanna go ahead and launch that. And it'll take it a few seconds, just sit back and let it do its thing. And once that finishes, you're going to see this cool little SPV 3 launcher type thing. What you wanna do is click on install SPV 3. Now, once you click that, I know, trust me, some panic is going to set in because you're going to see a bunch of stuff in red that says a legal copy of Halo Custom Edition has not been found on your system. Now, luckily, this installer includes everything that you need. So you can click on step number one, install HCE. And don't panic either. Give it a few seconds because it takes a second to prompt this. So you can tell it yes once it prompts it. Next up, you're going to get this little Halo Combat Evolved installer. You can go ahead and click install on that. And here, also, do not panic because you're thinking, I know, well, I, I don't have a, a product key here to do this. In step number three, down in my pinned comment, I will have this product key listed. You can use this. I promise it'll work for you. Uh, however, you cannot copy and paste it in. I've already tried. And unfortunately, you're going to have to type it in character by character. And uh, just keep in mind, you guys uh, didn't get this product key from me. All right. And uh, I got it from somebody, but I uh, <clears throat> forgot their name. But uh, it is safe to use and just punch it in here to verify your copy. And then go ahead and click next. Click next again. And I would advise against installing GameSpy Arcade. I don't even know if this is a thing anymore, but you're not going to need it. So just uncheck it. The rest of these are fine. Go ahead and click install. Now with today's hardware, especially if you have a solid state drive, this is going to move relatively quickly. Okay, now from here, you do not want to click play now. Do not do that. Go ahead and exit out of this little installer. Now, once you've exited out of that, your SPV3 launcher may look like this instead. If it doesn't, just relaunch the SPV installer, or you can even click the little download that you had for it. It's okay if it goes through and runs through all of that again. It will then look like this for you. 
Uh, you can go ahead and just leave it. You can see it defaults to what it needs to do. Go ahead and tell it to install. And this is what's actually installing the SPV 3.2 mod on your Halo. All right, so we're almost there. I promise it's getting close. Once that finishes up, you're going to notice a little pop-up here that says installation has been successful. Please install open source to the SPV3 folder using a my sosu. Click OK to continue. Now you're probably thinking, oh, what the heck is this talking about? Just go ahead, click OK. Now just sit back for a second. Take your hands off the keyboard and mouse. It's gonna prompt automatically. So you just tell it, click yes, once it does that. And what it's gonna do is pop up with this little window right here. Do not mess with any of this where it installs it. Just leave it how it is and click install open source. Now this should not take very long. You're gonna notice you get a message right below it. Installation has been successful. So we're gonna go ahead, exit out of that. Uh, you can also go ahead and exit out of this SPV3 installer. Now this is where also it got a little tricky for me. I was confused on where to go from here. If you notice on your desktop, you have a Halo Custom Edition desktop icon. Do not use that. That's not what you want to go to. I installed this on a Windows 10 machine. And what I have to do is go to my file explorer, go to Documents, my games and you will notice there is a halo spv3 folder here what we're looking for is when you want to play this you actually want to use the spv3 launcher you don't want to actually launch halo so a good thing you can look for when you're in this folder is just look for the one that says spv3 it will be labeled as an application what i do just for easy access is just uh, right click it create shortcut and then just drag that shortcut to my desktop. So let's go ahead, try it out. We'll launch it through the shortcut. And here you'll notice um, this is the SPV3 launcher. Here you can go in and go to settings. You can set resolution. You can set your field of view, which is very important when you first get into the game. A bunch of other things. Uh, and from there, you just do load SPV3. And there you have it guys, you are ready to dive in and enjoy the SPV 3.2 mod for Halo on PC. If this tutorial helped you at all, please consider clicking the subscribe button down below. I promise it's free, doesn't cost you a thing. We have a lot of fun over here on this channel. We are all about promoting a positive gaming environment for all. And I've actually been enjoying this SPV 3.2 mod which i just found out about today and we're going to do a full playthrough of it here on this channel so i would appreciate it if you consider subscribing and let me know down in the comment section below if you have any trouble with this i will do what i can to help you troubleshoot but for now that's it for me hope you guys enjoyed the video positive gamer peace out